listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, floods in North Korea kill 88 people and leave thousands homeless. According to AFP, Agents France Press, North Korea's official news agency said that a week of floods caused by a typhoon and a downpour of rain claimed huge human and material losses. The new death toll of 88 was a dramatic increase from the figure of eight reported earlier. A total of 134 people were injured and almost 63,000 people were left homeless by the floods, which started on July the 18th. Thousands of homes have also been damaged or destroyed. The second today, Iran boosts retaliation capabilities in the Persian Gulf. According to the Washington Post, Iran is rapidly gaining new capabilities to strike at U.S. warships in the Persian Gulf, amassing an arsenal of sophisticated anti-ship missiles while expanding its fleet of fast attack boats and submarines. The new systems, many of them developed with foreign assistance, are giving Iran's commanders new confidence that they could quickly damage or destroy U.S. ships if hostilities erupt. Third today, the area of the United States under extreme drought increases to 20%. According to CNN, Areas of the contiguous United States under extreme or exceptional drought conditions increased by an area roughly the size of Texas from 13.5% of the land to 20.5% in the past seven days. The National Drought Mitigation Center said that it's getting to the point where some of the agricultural damage is not reversible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Matthew twenty four twenty one, Then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time no nor ever shall be. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Please understand also that because of your sins, you deserve everlasting punishment in a place called hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. That is the bad news. But here is the good news for you. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, his name is Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ right now for your salvation, please pray with me this simple prayer. 
Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you were sincere in that prayer and meant it from your heart, may I be the first to say congratulations to you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he said, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.